marbled with colors so that you are going to get the precise color for your brows. We're going to take you through each one. We have reduced shipping and handling, $26.36. You're going to get a duo, so you're going to get two of them each. So it's A257029 of whichever shade you choose. So let's take them through all the colors oh, and then yes. we'll speak to Laura's marbling technique. So right here, we're going to start with the lightest. We actually put a lot on, so it's much, is this the lightest? Yeah, I do. Oh, thank you very much. You're blonde. Okay, that's your blonde, okay? So you can go lighter or heavier to make it richer. Right next, that auburn. Mm -hmm. If you're brunette with red manes of highlights, go that's for this. Pretty. If you've got beautiful red hair, it's, you can see the highlights and low lights in this, and wait till you see how it transfers onto your brow. Brunette, that's what I wear, and that's really for anybody that's the most universal of all of them. And charcoal for my salt and pepper gals, and for anybody with dark black hair, yes. and a richer skin tone as well. If you want the Auburn, there's only 500 remaining. So it's been very popular today already with reduced shipping and handling. If you've never tried Laura Geller's um, uh, incredible opportunities to create the most beautiful brows, maybe you're someone, you, maybe you've thought about trying the brow marker. Yep. But you're like, oh, I'm a little hesitant. I want to try something, e to give me something easy with training wheels. Well, not yeah. only is it with training wheels, but it's color correcting with the marbleized color. Well, that's just it. Nobody's ever been able to do a dual toned eyebrow pencil before. I love this. It's a firmer pencil so that it clings to the skin, not just to the hair. It lasts longer, but at the same time, we're conditioning the hair on the brows. But as you can see, there's no right or wrong technique. You're gently creating little strokes. And I have to tell you, Jackie, if you're not thinking about your brows, if you're not doing your brows, because everything you've tried, whether it's a wax preparation, whatever it may be, and you've been struggling with making it look natural, we have finally figured out how to give you the most natural looking brow. Now I'm is doing- Is that the brunette? This is the brunette. And then when you take the brush oh. and you comb through it, because we love our brook, but her brow is a little light. This works for anybody, whether you don't have hair, maybe you over plucked. Yes. Maybe you shaved them when you were younger, or maybe you don't have hair because you're under treatment right now. I can't tell you how important it is to be able to do and give you and restore look the look of the a gorgeous difference. brow. Is that, that is it's massive. huge. It's massive. I mean, and so that's the brunette. You're gonna get a duo here. So when you decided to create a marbleized color, it really is gonna pick the up one. the highs and the lows so of your brows to give you a more natural look. So we're known for color correction and right. we do everything melanged, our foundations, our blushers. Think about the hair on your head. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't go for highlights, somehow your hair looks like it's highlighted sometimes. Yes. But if you're somebody that goes for highlights, when you put on a pencil, how about now having a pencil that has those hues of light and richer, and you get that natural looking brow that has more dimension. By the way, that's our lightest color. Oh. That is our blonde. And you can see that she- Blonde can be a good universal color because there's By the days way I, I don't want to do, uh, I'm, st I'm still a little gun shy when I get to my, to my brows. So sometimes I like to go into a lighter shade just to give me a little definition, but without being too deep. Yeah, I have to tell you blondes, especially if you go lightly, it will go on lighter. If you press like all the pencils, it will go on richer. So you have the capacity of lightening it or richer, making it richer in, in color. And that's what you need with your today's special value you just saw right there. Oh, look at here. Okay, there's your charcoal. I mean, uh, look when she goes to the side. If you don't have that tail anymore on the outside corner of your brow, if everything you put looks artificial there, it's because you have too wet of a brow preparation that you're using or too waxy and it could slide off. Because this is a little stiffer in texture, because I give you something that also is training your brows to have conditioning with coconut oil and silica, I'm conditioning the hair on your brows, but I'm making this stick and last longer. That's the best part. And that's the kind of creation that Laura gives to us. And so if you want to get the Auburn, that is most limited. Now, if you're looking at picking this up and trying it for the first time, it does come with you with a sharpener. What are the best tips you have oh, I love uh, about have creating the perfect brow? Okay. So I want to keep it simple for you because you and I both know this needs to be goof proof. So okay. you ready for this? Mm -hmm. When, and, and Brooke just did her other to show how simple this was, but I want to just show you. Always oh, start your brow from the outside corner of your nose. Mm -hmm. This is where it should start. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have he hair over in this area, you're going to stroke it on and you're going to see it doesn't look wet. 
it actually looks like your own brows. Then you're going to take the pencil, Jackie, on the outside corner of the nose and come straight out is where it should end. But the most important tip is to work on top of your brow. Not to work down under your brow, but to create an eye lift. When you define your brows, you finish the, big, the bigger picture. Wow, look at that. It's the framework to your eye. It's an eye lift. Mm -hmm. I always say you can buy an inexpensive poster, but if you mat it and frame it in an expensive frame, yes, yes. it makes your poster look like a Van Gogh. Exactly. And I have to say, when you don't do your brows, you can do a gorgeous eye makeup on yourself, mm -hmm but you're leaving yourself looking vacant. You are, and uh, we don't need to look any more vacant. Yeah, I mean, hello. Uh, this is, this is what, this. oh, there's that auburn that's limited. So if you're getting it, it has this marbleized finish through it in color, absolutely stunning with this pencil duo, with the sharpener, and that's $26.36. It's 825 in less than 10 minutes, already over 31,000 orders have been placed today for Laura's today's special value, the seven piece black tie affair with the black sequin clutch. This is Laura's first today's special value in four years. And it is the last color cosmetic today special value that we have of the year. The most perfect colors, brand new blush, highlighter. You can